Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Tutorials. Today we're going to be continuing our series on uh, components of tankiness. And as you can see from the graphic above my head, we're going to be talking about Fortify and Fortified. Um, and for this particular reason, I'm actually going to go over to one of my characters which has absolutely no issues becoming fortified at any opportunity. And that is my Barbarian, who literally has like the most ridiculous Fortify in, that I've had seen on any character so far. Um, and I'll explain that as we go along. But what I want to talk about with Fortify is how Fortify is so good in um, making your character tanky. It's one of the very interesting conditional tankinesses that, if done properly, can actually make you so ridiculously tanky that it's kind of insane. To the point where literally I feel like just about every character within the game if it is possible for you to do so, should be using Fortify. Um, and why do I feel this way specifically? Well, I feel this way because Fortify provides you with a lot of various bonuses um, that a lot of people I don't think are even aware of. The first off is it gives you more damage. So the more Fortify that you build, the more overpower damage you get from your actual attacks. On top of this, when you become Fortified, which is the full fortification status, um, you gain a 10% flat damage reduction, which is basically just applied to all damage that comes in, which is pretty amazing. Now, to build Fortify, there are tons and tons and tons of different ways that you can do so. My character, in particular, builds Fortify by utilizing um, a feature on an aspect known as the Numbing Wrath. And basically how it works is, is once I reach Maximum Fury, which doesn't take me very long at all, um, I start to generate Fortify with every single attack that I make after that point. So all I have to do is attack enough monsters quickly enough, my Fortify will start to build extremely fast, and before you know it, I will be completely and utterly fortified. Of course, one of the problems I'm having here is that I'm killing monsters so quickly that literally I'm not even generating any Fortify before everything's dead, which is actually kind of hilarious when you think about it. I guess I don't need to be fortified if everything's dead, which is actually another video lesson that, you know, we might as well incorporate into this one since we're currently having this issue, which is if you kill them before they kill you, <laughs> you don't really have to worry about defensive mechanics because guess what? They're dead and they can't hurt you. Um, so in this particular situation, you see I don't really need defensive mechanics because just in general, like, the monsters can't really fight back. Now, once I hit my maximum fortify, or my maximum resource, you'll notice that I'm starting to generate fortify. Now, I think it's very important to talk about this for a second, because you will notice that my fortify is already gone. Fortify only tends to last for about five seconds, from what I have been able to gather. And, um, of course, I have to pick, like, the map with the least number of monsters on it, apparently. Like, like are there really just, like, no monsters on this map? There's, like, two guys there. There's like a whole two poo peoples there. Let's let's do this uh, event. Um, so when you attack and you start to generate your fortify, what happens is you are going to notice that it will go away very quickly if you're not continuously generating it. So right now I'm generating my fortify. I'm getting tons and tons of fortify every single time when I attack a target. I'm also getting fortify when the monsters attack me. Um, and before too long, you'll notice that I am fortified. Now, Fortify um, is the number that's displayed here, but Fortified, which is the status effect, is this little thing that appears around your health bar. So when this disappears from the globe, you are no longer fortified during that time period. So it's important to remember that once that disappears, you have lost your fortification status and you are no longer fortified. Um, as you can clearly see here, though, I have absolutely no issue in maintaining my fortified status. It is really easy for me to do so. Um, but what I would like to show you is how quickly it degrades. So right now I am fortified, and if I hold my mouse over it, you'll notice um, it disappears really quickly and starts to just simply degrade. At the point when it starts to degrade, it is going to degrade very fast unless you stop it. Now, how do you stop it from degrading? Well, the only way to stop it from degrading is to build Fortify again with something else. So you have to hit something. You have to do something to gain more Fortify to stem the tide. And if you are able to stem the tide, you will stop it from degenerating by creating more Fortify. Every single time you add Fortify from any source 
whatsoever, the Fortify will stop degenerating, which makes it kind of important to have more than one source of Fortify. And I'll explain what I mean by this. So, in my situation, I think I only need one. And it really comes down to the fact that I generate Fortify with every single attack that I make. However, some characters or some players may not have the same options that I do. Maybe you're utilizing something like Iron Skin with its ability to grant a 15% base life Fortify, but it's on a 12 second cooldown. Well, this is too long. Um, and let me show you what I mean by this. So let me go ahead and swap this over to the Strategic Iron Skin. And I'm going to utilize the Strategic Iron Skin. It's going to give me my base Fortify. And notice it starts to immediately go back down. Like, it didn't even wait. Like, there wasn't even a delay. I used my Strategic for Iron Skin. And as soon as I used it, it started to immediately degrade back down into its itself. And the reason why this is, is because it's a single event, and it's not something that's going on constantly. Um, so you generally want to have at least two different events that are happening on a regular basis to give you Fortify. Um, because if you don't, what's going to happen is, is it's just going to end up getting wasted. So right now I've got my Fortify from Iron Skin, and by the time I reach my next pack, it's going to be gone. Like, it's not going to last long enough. Um, which is one of the reasons why I ended up going with the Aspect of the Numbing Wrath, because the Aspect of the Numbing Wrath is a way that you can generate Fortify constantly. Um, and there are tons of different ways that you can generate Fortify, generate Fortify across all the different characters. Um, one of the best ways to generate Fortify on the Necromancer, in my opinion, is the Necrotic Carapace passive. Um, and let's take a look at that for a, a second. Um, the Necrotic Carapace passive is a passive that basically gives you Fortify every single time you create a corpse, which works very well um, in combination with corpse-like abilities and corpse-like characters. So if you go into the tree, uh, you'll see Necrotic Carapace uh, right here, which is a 6% base life Fortify whenever a corpse is formed from your skills or your minions. And um, you can generally create a lot of corpses really fast. So if you're utilizing something like Decrepify, um, sorry, De Decompose, which creates a large number of corpses, or Reap, which creates a large number of corpses, both of these abilities will make many, many, many corpses for you, which will give you lots of Fortify. Um, this passive, however, does not work with it for some reason, and I'm not sure if it's bugged or if that's just the way that it's designed, but um, it just does not work very well. Now, depending on what character you are, um, there are a myriad of different ways that you can add Fortify into your build. And in the same way that Vulnerable is very important for your damage output, I am going to state this right now for a fact, that I feel like the Fortify is one of the best, if not the best ways to dish out the fortification process like to to help you with your damage reduction so so if you are trying to make your character more tanky if you're trying to find a way to make it so that the monsters are not killing you very easily and you're generally just having a much easier time surviving fortify is an extremely strong way to do this for a multitude of reasons First off, Fortify provides you with a 10% damage reduction flat, which I've already talked about. But on top of this, there are also a myriad of ways that you can enhance the Fortified status. And um, I, let me show you a couple. So first off right here, we have an 18.9% damage reduction while Fortified, which is very nice on a pair of pants. Um, you can also get ways to increase your Fortify. And uh, I don't know if I've got any more on my items here. Um, but there are also some items in the Paragon board, which can give you a pretty good effect as well. Um, I utilize the Undaunted Rune, which I can't remember where... There it is. So the Undaunted Glyph has a 45.9% damage uh, increase while fortified, but it also gives you an additional 10% damage reduction for the more fortify that you have. So you don't even have to be fortified for this to have an effect. You just have to have Fortify. And it is most likely spread out across your um, HP like a, uh, a, you know, like a, a conditional net. So if you're at 50% Fortify, you probably get 5% damage reduction. If you're at 75% Fortify, you probably get 7.5% damage reduction, and so forth and so on. So this glyph, which is actually very nice, because not only does it give you a damage bonus while being Fortified, but it also gives you a damage reduction while being Fortified, both of which are very nice. 
And as you go forward, you will notice that there are tons of different ways that you can take that fortified status um, and you can add in additional um, ways to make yourself tankier. In general, um, I think that fortify is one of the best ways to reduce damage from basically all sources, um, including poison which I have had a lot of trouble with trying to find ways to reduce the damage that comes in from poison. And I'm not exactly sure if it's because of the snapshot mechanics where basically poison snapshots what's going on on your character at that particular moment when it applies. However, it does seem like when Fortify is up, poison is much less calacious um, than when Fortify is down. Um, and you can have all the same buffs, you can have all the things, same things going on, you can have a barrier up, conditional damage reductions, and all sorts of amazing buffs going, but when you step into that poison, you get annihilated. However, when Fortify is up, which is very, very nice, um, Fortify tends to just simply be much better um, when it comes to the amazing effects that it does versus pretty much everything. Um, let's take a look really quickly and let's do a re recap on this just so that you can really get a good feeling for this. Fortify um, is something every character should generate. Um, on top of this, the fortified status is very strong to keep your character alive. It is a very, very powerful mechanic. Um, another thing is, is that there are many ways to take advantage of the fortified status, fortify and fortified status, um, to make your character dish out more damage. and reduce incoming damage even further. Um, this is really freaking amazing. Um, I have fallen in love with the fortified status effect in general because the fortified status basically makes you into a like tank god at that point. Um, and when combined with other damage reduction effects, when combined with other abilities that can increase your damage reduction even further, in general, you will find that Fortify makes you very, 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 very tanky. Um, <clears throat> trying to remember where I left off here. Sorry, I had a phone call. The um, There are downsides to Fortify. So let's talk about the downsides. I feel like we've talked enough about the upsides. I've hailed it as the new conquering hero of the universe. Um, let's talk about the downsides of it, uh, because I feel like the downsides of it are very important to discuss. Uh, first off, sometimes it's hard to generate. So number one, difficult to generate on certain builds. Um, if you cannot generate Fortify, if you cannot keep the Fortified status active at all times, I generally don't recommend it for your character. Um, because in general, when it comes to Fortify, um, if you cannot maintain the Fortified status, you're going to miss out on most of the buffs that it offers. And as you can clearly, you could clearly see earlier, the Fortified status is a very obvious, like, shield that appears above your health bar. Um, it is very clear that you are in the fortified status uh, over the fortify. So it just simply makes it into something that is a, a difficult sometimes on certain builds to maintain. If you're having trouble maintaining it on certain builds, I wouldn't stress it out too much. You're just going to have to find other ways to make your character tankier. And um, and there's really not a whole lot more that you can do under that. Some builds just do not have an easy time generating Fortify. Um, number two is Fortify degenerates very fast. Um, this is a big issue because of the fact that in between battles, if you're not quick... So, like, if it takes you a little bit too long to, from one battle to the next, you will lose the effect of Fortify and have to rebuild it back up. Um, depending on how easy it is for you to build your Fortify, this can sometimes be a pretty big issue, um, just simply because of the fact that you, you're just going to end up in a situation where the Fortify effect, or the Fortified effect, is not 
up when you need it. And this is very important. If you cannot maintain Fortify, then it's not going to be very helpful to you. Just because you can generate a fortified status doesn't mean that you're going to be able to maintain it all of the time and create a situation where you are constantly fortified. Um, another issue is that when you get hit, fortify goes down. So it actually uh, it's kind of hard to explain this mechanic because I don't even understand this mechanic very well. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. As I play around with the Fortify mechanic and I get into combat and I start dishing out damage to multiple enemies, it's not readily apparent exactly how Fortify decreases. And often, even times, it's not even readily apparent why Fortify decreases. Um, because sometimes Fortify will decrease for no reason. Sometimes Fortify will decrease very rapidly. And other times... Um, there is some other issues where, like, it seems to go down more than what you got hit. Um, and let me actually write down some numbers here so I can actually, like, explain things to you. So let's say a monster comes in and hits you for 1,000 damage. Um, sometimes your Fortify will take 500 damage, um, which is not HP damage. This is damage to the actual Fortify that you're actually using on your character. Um, although sometimes it seems like your Fortify will take like 1500 damage. It, it doesn't seem to make much sense, like what's going on. Um, and because of the fact that your Fortify can decrease when you are hit, this does require that you have a constant source constantly generating it. Otherwise, what ends up happening is is you're, you will be fortified, and then you get hit, and then you're no longer fortified. Um, and you're not actually generating enough fortify to maintain the fortification, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, another issue is um, healing can sometimes interfere with fortify. Now, this has to do with having a lackluster generation of fortify it's kind of hard to explain this because it comes down to the fact that when you get hit fortify goes down so um, let's use a hypothetical scenario um, let's say you have 10,000 hp um, which also uh, you know ironically and you know, unironically equals 10,000 fortify okay so if you have 10,000 HP, you have 10,000 Fortify. That's that's how this works. You cannot have more Fortify than your maximum HP, but you can have more Fortify than your current HP. Okay, so this is very important. You can have more Fortify, fortify than your current HP, but not your maximum. All right? So if I get hit for 1,000 damage, and um, I am now at 9,000 HP, um, I am probably also at 9,000 Fortify. All right? But then let's say I heal myself for 1 HP. Yes, I know. It's not even a lot. Let's just say I heal myself for 1. Now I am at 9,001 HP and 9,000 Fortify. Um, I am no longer Fortified. All right. So this is this is one of the weird issues when it comes to healing and fortify is that if your healing outpaces your fortification, you will often find yourself in situations where your fortify goes down because you healed yourself above the HP of the fortification. Now, this is not an issue at max because your max and your fort your fortify and your max are basically the same. Um, so they, they can't be above each other, so 10,000 and 10,000, um, which means that you're always going to be able to be fortified at your maximum HP. But when it comes down to like when you're getting hit multiple times and your HP is going down and you're trying to heal yourself, um, it can cause issues where your fortify will go down because you healed yourself above the total amount. Um, which is a little strange. Now, if you generate Fortify all the time, if you have if you have no issue generating Fortify, this will not be an issue. Um, but if you are struggling to generate Fortify, if you are in a situation where you are having a problem generating Fortify, healing yourself can complicate this even further because it creates these little micro situations where your fortify is temporarily lower than your HP, which causes the fortify to 
go down. The Fortified effect to go down. Um, overall, I think Fortify is still an amazing ability, and if you can add it into your, your build, it will definitely make you very tanky. Um, and like I showed you, there's a myriad of ways that you can utilize things like uh, Paragon, Glyphs, um, and all sorts of other things to make it so that your character can not only dish out more damage while fortified, but also take less damage while being fortified. Um, and, uh, and certain classes also have specific aspects, which can give you multipliers while fortified, um, all sorts of beautiful stuff like that. Um, some of them don't even require you to be fortified. They only require you to be to have fortify. So like this one, the Undaunted Glyph doesn't actually have a condition that requires you to be fortified to get the 10% damage reduction. You only have to have some fortify on your bar to obtain a partial bonus of the 10%, which means that if you're at 50% fortify, you're still at 5% damage reduction. If you're at 75% fortify, you're still at 7.5% damage reduction. So these bonuses are actually pretty nice because they don't have the same qualifiers as, say, for instance, the ones on my pants, which do require me to be fortified, which is a different mechanic entirely. Uh, personally, I think if you can generate fortify, you can get a massive amount of fortify damage reduction. Um, sapphires are one way that you can get that as well, and I forgot to mention that earlier. But um, sapphires will give you a 3% damage reduction in each slot, which can give you a rather large amount of damage redu reduction while fortified, which makes them honestly one of the best gems to put in your armor for tankiness reasons, um, simply because if you can generate a reliable fortified status, then you can also, of course, have the Sapphires, which are going to give you even more damage reduction while you're fortified. Um, I think I've talked enough on this particular ability. I don't really think there's any more for me to say. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them, or even if you have corrections, feel free to throw those in there too. I'm still learning about all the fortify mechanics and everything within the game, and um, it's all a journey. It's all about learning, right? As always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.